Uh, chocolate bar fractions. Is there anything better? As you can see, my bar is unbroken, but I'm ready to share. If I want a friend to have equal shares with me, I will break my bar in half. The great thing about this bar is how well I can show you equivalent fractions. As I said, I'm taking one half of the bar. But in this one half, you can see that I have one, two, three sections, so I can break up my bar a little bit more. As you can see, those three sections make it three out of a possible one, two, three, four, five, six sections in the whole bar. So I have three out of six. But I also have one out of two sections. I have one out of one, two sections. These are called equivalent fractions. We can also see that this chocolate bar can be broken into four equal sections. I can use one, two, three, four equal sections and I can give myself one out of those four sections. Can you see the other equivalent fractions to one-fourth? If you said two-eighths, you're right. We have one section here and another section here if we break down the fourths. So all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal sections. So one fourth of the chocolate bar is equal to two eighths of the chocolate bar. But how about we look at the fraction that my friends are eating? They're taking one, two, three fourths and we show that as three fourths. They could also break up their chocolate bar. They could break each of their sections into smaller pieces. So how much would they have if one fourth equals two eighths? What would three fourths be? That's right. If you said six eighths you'd be right. Let's look at those sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. Excellent job.